Hi, this is Spring with Soaps and Suds and Such. I just wanted to show you what me and the kids have been doing. This is my two eight-year-olds. This is Junie B and Doodlebug, or Innocence and Sammy. And uh, we have been picking dandelion and some violets. And I'm going to dry those. We're going to pick some more. But I'm going to dry those to use in a soap. And of course, raspberry leaves. And I've actually got someone else that is needing tea for some issues they're having. And I'm going to dry some leaves for them. And uh, my older daughter, she's the one doing the video. She won't be in it this time. I'm going to get her in there eventually. Um, but later on, hopefully, we're going to be doing some mixing of oils, fragrance oils, and making new fragrance. So hopefully I'll show that. And this is spring with soaps and suds and such. This is spring with soaps and suds and such. This is aloe. Today I got some aloe leaves to make my aloe soap, which we call Gifts from Heaven, which has a lot of good stuff in it. And I wanted to show a basket I decorated with loads of samples. And we are taking this to Forbes Milling um, for them to give away the samples. And I put a little frog on here, a bullfrog, of course. The scented rose I got in the Nature's Garden package that I received went on there. Some hemp cord. And I did braid some of the hemp cord and put that around there. I would burn the flower double-sided and just glued that together. Put that down in there. Uh, now, I do have some grass that we collected from our backyard that was dried. And the basket, though, itself was like this whenever I got it, and I just added to it. And that's how I decorated it. So, here in a little bit, we'll be doing the fragrance oils. This is spring with soaps and suds and such. The soaps and suds and such, and today it's Jesse, too, my husband. Hello. And we're going to be mixing fragrance oils. Um... To make new fragrances for our soaps and he's going to show you how he does it i think we'll go with three drops of f on this one it's the softer scent or we'll just be smelling all of the g so here we go How many drops of G are you going to use? One. <coughs> Made a stern stick. I got you the little spoon.
just a little bit. How many more air? One. better. That smells good, don't it? Yeah. It's nice earthy scent. Works real good for hunters. Natural. Okay, and you put one G and four F. Okay. And let me get us ready for our next one. And we're back. Two different scents. We'll try to make another one. The first one that we just made, even though he said um, a hunter soap, that's for women too. That's more of a unisex soap, and a lot of women like to hunt too, just as well as men do. So how many of the B did you put? Just one for now. It's pretty stout. Let's we'll see if it covers up the Let's see. And see? Only put two for now. Let's see how it blends. I think you need to go with more C on it. Probably three more. I'll go with two. Okay. That's a unisex side for sure because I would use it all year. It's a four to one. Okay. Four of C and one of B. Okay, we're going to get ready and do one more. This one we're going to target men, hopefully. Okay, we're back. This time we'll go with three different ones and see if we can't come up with something that smells pretty good. This one's a pretty soft scent, so we'll go with two drops of it. Bees are a little bit stouter, so we'll stay with one drop for now of it. We'll go from there. These are 
pretty expensive, so that's how we do it with the dropper method first, and then we'll hash out the recipe from there. Put the drops to the side that way everything's in one little puddle here so it mixes well. So you think we need to add another drop of pea? I think it needs one more C and one more P. Um, we'll try that. My wife thinks it needs one more C and one more drop of the pea, so let's see if she's right. Maybe these will bring on a poem. I write poetry also, and my tropical breeze soap that we made and the scent we made brought a poem out. I had a poem come to me from us actually mixing that scent. I like that. Do you like it? Well, I think that does it for mixing of fragrances for today. And our Annetto seeds, well, they're infusing rather nicely. Should make some really wonderful soap. Raspberry leaves, getting ready to put those away to dry. And I showed you my big aloe leaves, which I'm going to be making a wonderful soap with loaded with aloe. And I guess that's it for today. And this is spring. And Jesse with soaps and suds and such. Have a blessed day.